All right, welcome back to Builders to another prop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, topiaries. I'm going to put this in the museum diorama, also known as boxwood. So let's just get right into the tutorial. So the first step is we're going to actually clip off these side things because we're not going to need the handles on here. So I'm just going to use some clippers on here and get this off. Gonna do the same thing on the other side and don't worry about any imperfections because we're gonna end up sanding that off with some fine grit sandpaper. Like I said, I'm gonna grab some fine grit sandpaper. And we're just gonna sand this whole thing down because we are gonna add some spray paint to it. And this plastic's kind of smooth, so we're going to want some texture on here to keep the spray paint on there. So I'm going to go ahead and sand some on camera for you guys. And then go off camera and finish sanding it completely so I can get the white spray paint on here. And while you're sanding this, you're going to want to sand these parts smooth where the handles were. So it's nice and smooth for the uh, vase for the plant. So like I said, I'm going to finish this off camera and we're going to come right back. All right, so now that we have everything sanded, I sanded off all the little nubs right here. We're gonna actually go outside and spray paint this, so we'll be back with the next step. Uh, while this is drying, we're gonna also do uh, the painting for the actual plant that goes inside, so we're gonna end up moving to that step while this is drying. I grabbed the barbecue skewer. I'm gonna go ahead and base this in the brown color and do a light dry brushing of a light brown over it, and we'll come back and actually start on the plant part. All right, now that I have the piece of wood all dry brushed and painted up, I'm going to use one of the uh, other trophies that we're using to modify to the pot just as a standard while the paint is drying on the other one. So I could go ahead and measure where I'm going to put uh, the foam balls that are going to actually become the plants. Um, I'll put a picture of this down in the left corner so you guys can see which ones I bought. It came with three different sizes so I'm going to use all three sizes for this project. And I'm going to go ahead and just find the center and push it all the way through. And I'm gonna end up spacing these out and then using hot glue to keep them where they're supposed to be at because I want space in between each of them. So that's pretty much the spacing I want on there. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it sideways so you guys can see. And I cut the skewer about six inches long so that gives it uh, enough uh, room to be eye level with uh, Marvel Legends because that's what I'm gonna use for the display. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and hot glue these in place. As you guys can see, there's spacing in between, and we're gonna come back and repaint these uh, styrofoam balls. All right, now that I have the foam balls glued on there, we're gonna actually start with the base coat, and I'm gonna use a dark green uh, on the foam balls, and we're just gonna apply that, and you wanna get that to in all the crevices, and you want 100% coverage with this uh, color. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all three of the foam balls, and then we're gonna come back and do some dry brushing with uh, two other colors. So as you can see, it's a dark green, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up off camera and we'll come back to the next step. All right, now that we have the base cut already dried, I'm gonna go ahead and start dry brushing on the next two colors. And all we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring the paint palette into a frame. And we're gonna use a little bit of yellow and a little bit of this light green. And you don't wanna mix it completely, you just want it to be uh, pretty much streaky, a swirl of like yellow and green. So just like that, you don't want it to incorporate it, and we're going to go ahead and start dry brushing some of this color on there. And you don't want to do full coverage, you just want to hit some random spots just to add some contrast with the dark green. And you're really just hitting the texture of the styrofoam ball with it. I'm going to add a little bit more green just to make a different shades of color in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of this and start dry brushing the rest of it and we're gonna come back to the next step. All right, now that the paint has dried on the vase, as you can see right here, and now that we have the dry brushing all done with the plant, we're gonna just go ahead and mount this right in here. I'm gonna use hot glue. Um, you don't have to attach this on here if you're just gonna store it somewhere and you could just have it in two pieces, but I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it just so I can have it secured in there and I don't have to mess around with it when I take pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put a decent amount of hot glue right in the center of the vase. 
just so we could glue the plant right in there. Okay, that should be good. And you're gonna want to, if you are gluing this, you're gonna want to center it as best you can so that it's not lopsided. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry and come back and we're gonna take a final look at this. All right, now that we have the prop all painted and set, it's nice and dry. You can clear coat this if you want to have it have a dull coat on there you can or if you want to make it glossy you can either way it's your preference um as always guys if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like a comment and hit that sexy subscribe all right welcome back to builders to another tutorial fuck i already <laughs> fucked that up <laughs> yes i did all right all right